a quick little video here. Uh, this is my uh, mother-in-law's car, and the battery has gone dead onto it a couple times. One for an extended period of time because she wasn't able to drive. So we're going to do a battery test onto it, and we'll see uh, how we do that. We use a Midtronics digital battery tester. Okay, you can just clip it on. And we have to see. In order to test this, we have to tell or see how many. Old cranking amps it is. factory battery and there is no there is no nothing that says how many cold cranking amps it is. Still going to do is we're going to we're going to go and look in the manual and see if the manual tells us what how, what kind of uh, amperage cold cranking amps this car is supposed to have okay we check the manual it's supposed to have a 700 uh, cold cranking amp so the first thing we do is we're going to choose the test in the vehicle, and we're going to do it by cold cranking amp, 700 cold cranking amp, enter, and now it's testing it. And we have to turn the headlights on, hopefully I know how, That's a good thing. Lights are on. Now we're going to turn the headlights off. Retesting. Okay. What this has done, it tests the cold cranking amp. And now what it's saying is that there's only 321 cold cranking amps in this battery at the present time instead of 700 so it's almost well it's about half of what it should be it does crank the car it's a little slow when it tries to start so even though it's got 12.63 volts the cold cranking amp of the battery is no good so the battery is no good we need to replace it What we're going to do now is we're going to check the charging system while we're at it. Now it's going to go through a series of tests that we have to do a few things here.
Okay. The diode ripple is normal. Charging system, they say, is normal. Idle volts is 1457. And the load voltage is 1446. So charging system is fine. So by testing the alternator, the charging system, it also tested the starter as we started it. And it goes through those three tests and it's like I said, it determined that the battery was no good because the cold cranking amps is down to 321 cold cranking amps and it's supposed to be 700. So even though it starts the car, probably the first cold morning, the car wouldn't start. So by having your battery tested, even though it seems to be starting okay, when you take your car in to have it serviced, they sh you should have it tested. And you should have it tested with a digital, not just a load tester. Uh, these, new, these newer styles, and this is an older tester, they have ones that are way more sophisticated than this, but this does the job. Uh, by testing the cold cranking amps and all of the other stuff, it's going to tell you what those three important systems are, your battery, your starter, and your alternator. Okay.